And now we join Colin Lamont for the Border News. Good afternoon, a man who was seriously Never injured. Never fast diamond. Now the Border News with Colin Lamont. Good afternoon. A man is seriously ill in hospital with head injuries after the rally car he was in crashed in Bits Park, Carlisle, yesterday afternoon. The driver of the vehicle was killed instantly. About 120 competitors were taking part in the Shell Oils Cumbria rally. The accident happened when the car left the road, hit a lamppost, and then smashed into a tree. The dead man hasn't been named yet because police are still trying to trace relatives. Fire teams were called to cut the two men free from the wreckage of their vehicle. A motorcyclist killed in a road accident in the Isle of Man yesterday has been named by police. He was 32-year-old John Glanville from Warwickshire. His bike was in collision with a wagon on the main Douglas Peel Road near Braddon Bridge, which is part of the TT course. Mr. Glanville is the 11th person to die on Manx roads this year. He was on the island to watch the Grand Prix races. Three teams of firemen were needed to tackle a major farm blaze in North Northumberland. Units from Berwick, Wooler and Kelso dealt with the blaze at Collarbond Farm near Con Hill. A large quantity of grain was destroyed and a Dutch barn severely damaged. Carlisle's main museum at Tully House closes its doors this afternoon for a major refit. The work will cost about £2 million and will take over a year to complete. Tully House has been open for almost 100 years and officials hope the improvement work will make it into one of the region's best tourist attractions. While the work is going on, many of the exhibits will be stored away and others will be put on display at other museums throughout the country. Now sport. The